Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the basics of Microsoft Outlook 2019. Microsoft Outlook 2019 is a desktop based email client that allows you to have access to tasks, email, calendar, and other things such as distribution lists or contacts. In this video, we'll be focusing on Microsoft Outlook 2019 and its basic functions such as sending emails, receiving emails, creating folders, signatures, and more. First of all, you're going to want to launch the Microsoft Outlook email client and head over to File and you'll see the account information screen. In the drop down menu, you will be seeing all the email addresses you have added to Outlook. If you would like to add one, we're going to click on Add Account. Here it's going to ask you for the email address. So put in your company's email. This will also work for Microsoft Exchange, G Suite, IMAP, or POP3 email. We're going to click on Change Account Settings. And now we're going to be typing in our email uh, information manually. If you don't know this information, contact your system administrator. After that, you're going to want to type in the password of your mailbox. I have mine right here. And after that, hit OK. As you can see, the IMAP email has been successfully added, and we're going to click on Done. Now, as you can see, in this left-hand window pane, you will see all your email addresses and folders. As you can see, it's already loading up my email addresses, and you can see that Outlook will also send you email notifications in Windows, so you don't miss an email. We're going to dis dismiss that. So, in this far left hand pane window, you can see all the email mailboxes you have. Under john.smith at winusa.com, you have your inbox folder, outbox, sync in issues, and search folders. Now, the inbox folder is where all your emails will be located. You will have your drafts, sent email, trash, and spam. Drafts are emails that you have saved and are pending to be sent to the recipient at a later time. This does not include scheduled emails. Keep that in mind. We'll go into that later. Sent emails are emails that have been sent and have been delivered to the recipient. Trash emails are emails in any of the other folders that have been deleted. And the spam folder is received emails that have been flagged as malicious. Now, the outbox folder are emails pending to be sent out. Now this is not similar to drafts, okay? Drafts are emails that are saved on the computer and are waiting to be sent out. Outbox emails are emails that have been already commanded to be sent out but are being held at the email server such as if there was an issue with the email then you could contact someone in the IT department to figure out what's going on. The Outbox folder, folder also contains emails that are scheduled such as an email scheduled at a later date. The Sync Issues email folder will contain emails that have been encountering with local failures such as a failure in the IMAP settings or Exchange. Search folders are folder folders that could be filtered. Now, here in the Inbox folder, this is where you'll be looking at the most. As you can see, now in the middle window pane, you'll be able to see all the recent emails that have been that have arrived in your inbox to view an email all you need to do is click 
on the um, desired email. On the right window pane, this is where the you can view the email. At the top, you can see three options, reply, reply all, and forward. Now, these two functions, reply and reply all, matter if you received an email from, let's say, a distribution list such as everyone at example.com. So let's say the manager sent an email to all the staff members about a new policy. Now, reply, the button reply does something different from reply all. Reply is when you only reply to the sender and reply all is when you reply to the distribution list. Here are the two key differences. If you use the reply only function, then you will, your message or reply will only be visible to the manager. If you use the reply all function, your reply will be visible to anyone in the distribution list, such as your coworkers. The last option is forward. Let's say I wanted to forward a copy of this email to my manager. I could click on forward and then type in my manager, my manager's email address. address. After that, you can click send, but before doing that, you can also customize the email. Let's look at the top window pane. As you can see, there are multiple tabs up here. The first tab is your home tab where it it really just contains the basic things that you'll use on a day-to-day -day basis such as deleting emails, archiving them. Again, you have the reply options and forward. You can move the email team create a team email man forward it to your manager reply and delete now forward it to your manager by this you can create like a function where if you click it you don't need to type in an email address it will automatically send to your manager we're not going to go into that the move button which can move it into a folder such as let's say I want to move this email into spam so I'm gonna move it into other folder uh, John Smith inbox spam click OK and now the emails in spam you can also click and hold on the email and drag it so let's say I want to move it back to the inbox I can do this and it will be back in my inbox Rules, you can set filtering rules, so such as if uh, email coming from john.smith at winusa.com lands in my inbox, I can make a rule where I'll always delete it. Send to OneNote, pretty straightforward, it's going to send it to your OneNote Microsoft 365 account or application. Unread, read, it will uh, mark an email as read or unread. Now, notice how when I cycle through these uh, buttons, it changes, it, it highlights the email, like it makes it, it boldens the font and makes it blue. Now, if the font is bold, that means the email has not been read. If it is plain text like this, then the email has been read. So that's basically how you can distinguish it. This flag icon, follow up, this can remind you to follow up on an email. Address book, you can check uh, a digital address book where it will have all your coworkers' emails and stuff. Filter emails, where you can create a filter and see which emails abide to that filter. Read aloud, it reads aloud your email and send and receive all folders basically you can send and receive items it synchronizes the IMAP or your email box so basically kind of like a refresh button 
So up here, you can see there are tabs to switch between. So you have send and receive, uh, basically what we just went through, send and receive all folders. Basically, uh, refresh, okay? You can make, the in the folder tab, you can create new email folders. So if I want to make one such as, let's say, business meetings, I will place that in my inbox. As you can see, the business meetings folder has been added. I'm going to delete that. You can create a new search folder based on specified criteria. You can highlight a folder to rename it, copy folders, basically some uh, tools that allow you to manage your email folders. Extremely useful. View, this will change the appearance of Outlook. And help, this allows you to uh, search up help in uh, Outlook. So if you need to contact support or Microsoft about something, you can use that tab. Now, on this bar right here, you can see you have mail, which is basically your email, calendar, where you can uh, plan stuff with your team, contacts, okay, right here, or people is what it calls it, tasks, and this button allows you to navigate to other Microsoft 365 apps. Now, we're going to go over sending emails. To send an email, all you need to do is click on New Email. This will open up a new window. Here, you can type in the recipient. Let's say john.smith and winusa.com. And then you will have another field. CC. Alright. Now, what does CC mean? CC stands for Carbon Copy. Now, the only time you would use this is such as if you want to create another copy of this email for another person, such as if you're emailing a customer at your business and you want to carbon copy your manager so they can also see the email. That's what it would be used for. Now, there you can also have something called blind carbon copy right here, as you can see, blind carbon copy, which means that the person or recipient cannot see the other person who got blind carbon copied. Okay, so let's, for example, let's say I wanted to blind carbon copy manager at winusa.com and I want, uh, wanted to carbon copy, uh, let's say, joe.smith at winusa.com. Now, john.smith at winusa.com will know that joe.smith was carbon copied to the email. That means they know that joe.smith can see the same email. But what john.smith will not know is that the manager can also see the email because the manager is blind carbon to copy. Carbon copied. My bad about. So basically blind carbon copy is basically carbon copy but in secret. Now, the subject title Basically, straightforward, what your email is about. Let's say I want to talk about this week's sales report. Here, I can click in the body part of the message. And here, you'll see a bunch of formatting uh, options. So, you can change the font, change the size of the text, bold, italicize, underline, emails, or text. I mean, uh, you can... Yeah, text highlight color, and you can change the font color there. Uh, you can increase font size, decrease. You can create bullet points. So as you can see, I'm creating a list. You can create number points, or basically a numeric list. You can indent your emails. So great, that's pretty good. Uh, you have access to the address book, so then you can uh, simply, you know, search up your coworker's email and easily put it in the recipient area. You can check names, which makes sure that it's possible to send the messages to them. So we can do that, and it will verify. You can attach a file 
So as you can see, these are, it will list the latest files such as in your downloads folder. Let's say I wanted to attach uh, this image. As you can see, the image has been attached and if I wanted to remove it, I can just right click and remove attachment. Now, as you can see, there are three options here as tags. You can either flag it to follow up later. You can act also put as high importance, such as an urgent message, or low importance. If you want it to be a uh, standard importance, like medium, don't click on high or low. And then you have immersive reader that basically just reads out, reads it out. Now insert, you can here again attach a file, an Outlook item, business card, calendar, or signature. You can also insert tables, picture seat, sheets, icon, other things, shapes, <laughs> sorry. But you can insert other things too here. Now let's go into signatures. So as you can see, uh, let me navigate here. So this will go over the signatures on your device, okay? So you have, uh, let's see, you can create a new signature. So we're going to call this main signature. And then here we can edit the body. So let's do, this is a signature. And then we're going to choose default signature main signature, replies, forwards, main signature, boom. So now I can go to insert main signature and the signature pops up and now I can send the message. Hello, I don't have a sales report today. Oops. So as you can see, there is my message and then below it, that's the signature. Now, let's head over to options. You can choose a theme, as you can see, themes. Uh, choose some other formatting options, such as page color. Blind carbon copy, again, as you can see, it extends it, so you can do blind carbon copy. You can encrypt your message messages, use voting buttons, etc. Here, basically, the same thing, format test, text. Uh, review, uh, spelling grandma, gram, <laughs> spelling and grammar, not grandma, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, and the help menu. Now, to send the email, you can click send, and if you want to send it as another identity, such as sent from Koidon Nguyen or Martin's, the mail, those ma mailboxes, you can click the down arrow and choose. So let's send it from Martin. Dot at when you say dot com and send. No, notice how the email signature disappeared because the the signature we just set up is only available to John dot Smith. So let's send the email. As you can see, the email has been delivered successfully, and a notification also popped up. And here you can see it is bolded in the blue color which means that it has not been read. So we can just click on it and the email displays correctly. Let's say I wanted to delete the email because I don't need it anymore. Well, there are multiple ways you can do that. First way, you can hover over the X and click that. Or you can go over here and click delete. Another way, another way is that you can click on the email and then press the delete key on your computer. And that also works. All right. And as you can see, all the trashed emails have been delivered into the trash folder, which is very nice. Let's say I want to move this email back into my inbox. Well, I can again just select it drag it over to inbox and it will be back and let's say I want to reply so we're gonna click on reply we don't need to click on reply at all because 
this isn't a distribution list or uh, an email that goes to multiple recipients. Now, here, you can see that our signature automatically loaded because it was the default signature. And now I can type my message. Once I'm done with the reply, I can just click on send and it will be sent to the inbox, to Martin's inbox. And as you can see, there was also an autoresponder message I set up on the other email account, but you can also safely delete that. Ignore conversation. So if I head over to Martin's email, as you can see, oh wait, hold up, up oh, there we go. As you can see, we can see that John Smith told us, what do you mean? Send it to my mailbox at the end of the week. To delete it, again, just click on delete. Boom, it's done. Now, let's say I wanted to reply, but also delete. So, we can click here, reply and delete, type in your message, and then click send. What this all does now, is that it will delete the message after you have sent it so yeah. and if you wanted to empty your trash can you can just go into the trash folder and delete the emails by either selecting all or you can right click and click empty folder everything you'll get a dialog saying everything in the trash folder will be permanently deleted are you sure you want to continue click on yes and everything has been deleted. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful and I'll see you sending emails soon. So if you have any questions on how to use Outlook, don't hesitate to contact me at martin at winusa.com. That's my public email address. Or you can send it to koi.win at winusa.com. That's my business email address. So, sending your inquiries to either email address is fine with me. So, again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below or email me personally. Have a great day.